Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today our questions are finally going to be answered. What in the world is this Team of the Season Award Winners promo? We have the loading screen right now that shows us two different Erling Holland cards. The Tots card and this Award Winners card design. Is it going to be the same card? Is it going to be different? We're going to talk about all of that in today's video because all we have are a few leaks and FIFA history to look back on to try to figure out what this promo is going to look like today. And with that being said, I do believe there is a lot to discuss and a lot that we can expect to see on the game today. We do have some confirmed leaks and the market's going to move a lot today. And I want to talk about how that could be based on the way the content goes as award winners is here in FIFA 23 today. So if you're excited for this brand new promo, drop a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's quickly go over the content from yesterday on Thursday because we have a whole brand new season. And I know you guys have looked at this, but I want to gloss over this just really fast and kind of talk through a couple things once again that I see from the season. First of all, we have got 40 levels instead of 30. And inside of here, there's a lot of packs, a lot of stuff going on here. I like the level 40 thing instead of just level 30 because technically you get more packs and it's only 40,000 XP in total which is a lot less but also once again we do see already that EA are going to be giving us a lot less XP per week right all the objectives for the last season were like 1,250 XP per objective that you would complete and now it's 125 times eight through this weekly objective and then a bonus of a thousand XP as the group reward you can see right here so this is going to be releasing every week we believe the weekly objective to get 2,000 XP per week and then obviously EA is going to have to give us some other way of getting XP through playing games and the daily objective through that or through other objective players like we got in previous weeks of team of the season so I feel like the grind here it's going to take us a while right it's going to take a while to get up to these higher levels like I would not expect to get to level 30 and get this absolutely cracked Tony Cruz center defensive mid five star five star card it's probably going to be in like 30 days man it might take us a day per level to get there or somewhere around that so it's going to be a slow season I feel like but the rewards in here are really nice with this Tony Cruz some really big packs inside of here um, you've got an 85 times 25 at the very end you've got a cool Tiago Silva card here our first shape shifters that have been dropped in the game so I'm a fan of the season I feel like though once we get towards the middle or to the end of it uh, it's going to kind of feel like the last season did cool, but like not as insane as it does maybe seem on the first day. So really curious to see where else we're going to be getting XP because right now all we have is the daily objective and the weekly objectives. I would assume there's going to be other ways that we can get that. Now with that, and we're going to talk more about this today, weekend league rewards because they really, they updated weekend league rewards, but it's still unknown. As I'm looking at this right now, you can see the player pick descriptions are not added in. It says player pick item description we believe those are going to say ultimate team of the season because once again if you take a look at the tradable or untradable three players packs and rank four and above it does say an ultimate tots three player pack and that is a pack that's been added to the code we talked about it we've seen it so we would imagine that these player picks would also be ultimate tots player picks which is why we think something around today's content is going to be related to ultimate team of the season not just the tots award winners so we had all of that going on yesterday and we had a very kind of interesting Chiesa SBC cracked looking card with the 99 pace but the biggest letdown here is no five star skills or no five star weak foot we just wanted one of those to be upgraded this card to make it absolutely mental this is going to be a very very good card in game but if you're not running a Serie A squad or you need the Juve links Honestly, this for me is a pass because he does not have that five-star weak footer skills, which at this stage of the game is so necessary, and especially for the price. It's not a bad SBC. We just wanted a little bit more. We also had the refresh of the 90-plus icon player pick, which made fodder move, and we'll talk more about fodder in today's video as well. So let's dive in to the information about this promo starting today. Tots award winners this was a loading screen yesterday that if we thought we maybe had it figured out about what this promo might be it just kind of confused it even more does this mean there's going to be tots cards and award winners in packs does this mean that Erling Holland's going to have both his Tots card and the award winner. Are they going to be the same rating? Are they going to be different ratings? 
That's the biggest question. There's so much that is unknown about this promo as we head into content today, which is kind of nice in a sense, right? It's not like we have a full entire promo team leaked. Well, yeah, we can kind of decipher who might be in packs today as some of the award winners specifically, but it's not like we've got a whole team that's leaked out and posted for us right now about who is going to be in. Now, the biggest thing that we're expecting still from this is from the original leaks is that Ultimate Tots and Tots Award winners are somehow going to be combined together in the promo today. And it's going to be about the golden boot winners, the most valuable players from each of the top five leagues. And the original leaks said that there would be three players released from each top five league. One MVP player, golden boots, and um, I think most clean sheets as well, like a goalkeeper. So we've already got the Ter Stegen leak for La Liga. And, um, you know, we've got guys like Mbappe, Holland, Osimhen, Bellingham, Lewandowski, and Kavicha that should all be a part of the award winners release on this game today just because they fit the criteria of what was leaked. And we still think it's going to be 15 award winner players today, but what about the rest of the squad? Will there be other cards and packs? And that's where I believe the ultimate team of the season aspect comes in. Also, I would say this, if ultimate team of the season is just re-released TOTS cards and it does not include the award winners, I think that would be a big disappointment uh, on this game. And as I'm looking right now, is the award winner card design even in the game? You can see there's a shapeshifters card design. They actually also just added a shapeshifters uh, premium card design, which actually has a little crown on the top of it right there that's just been added to the code. So that's why there's two shapeshifter designs in here. That, that'll be for like next week and, and looking forward. I, I don't imagine that's going to be a part of the content today. But with team of the season cards, um, of course, being the end of team of the season with ultimate tots, I do expect some of these guys to get re-released today i just don't know in what capacity that is going to look like and that's probably going to be the biggest thing that impacts the market and the hype on today's game is what cards are in packs how many cards are in packs and that sort of thing so that's the biggest question mark in for today. We do, just don't know what's going to be in packs today, apart from that something around the lines of Team of the Season cards and these award winners are going to be in. Now, again, the leaks do continue to say that these players, I'm going to pull up a Twitter account here. This is called, this is Nikki Kai. This is the same guy who leaks with FIFA U team. He quote tweeted Nepenthes' tweet yesterday and said, these cards will have the same ratings and stats as their respective TOTS items. The dynamics will likely, likely be the same as well. The only expected difference is the card design. And that's kind of what I gather from this loading screen right here. Is that TOTS Erling Holland is going to be the exact same as his award winner's card, but just a different colored card and a different uh, card design. Design. That's basically the biggest difference here. And I'm just curious to see what other cards EA put in packs, how many TOTS cards they put in packs alongside of this. So like every year with Ultimate Team of the Season, these guys that get re-released, they're going to be tough to pack anyway, right? If we talk about like Leao, if he gets released today, or um, you know, even guys like Pedri, if he gets re-released, or Vinny Jr., right? Those guys are not lined up to get these award winner cards, but they could very easily be re-released into packs today as a part of Ultimate Tots. They're going to be difficult to pack. It's not like all of a sudden Pedri is going to be very, very packable, but they will be re-released back into packs, and that's why today's content is really going to impact the market a ton in a lot of specific areas. But I think along with the cards dropping in packs today and how this promo actually unfolds, I feel like the SBCs, we've already kind of looked at it really quickly over here on the left, is these SBCs for today, right? This should begin. We have no, um, you know, loading screen confirmation, nothing apart from leaks to tell us this. But this whole entire week of this promo is supposed to be giving us an end of an era SBC player every single day. We've seen guys leaked like Milner. We've seen a Roberto Firmino end of an era leaked. And we have two brand new leaks, Sergio Busquets as an SBC and Jonas Hector as new end of an era cards. Now that's four end of an era leaks that we officially have. We have not seen a Zlatan or a Benzema leak yet or any other cards besides those four. I would imagine that one of them would drop today. And if I had to guess who would it be, it would probably be Milner or Firmino since they were the earliest leaked cards and probably Milner as he was the first and uh, first card that was posted on Twitter as kind of a leak or anything along those lines. So if I had to guess that might be our SBC today, which if you kind of ask me about that and think about that, doesn't seem super crazy hype to me. So I'm wondering if EA are going to drop anything else today in this game or 
is it going to be kind of what ultimate team of the season is like ultimate team of the season has always been in the past couple of years a really exciting time because yes you've got the best of the best tots cards that are in packs and especially this year i do believe that is going to include some tots moments cards like ronaldo potentially neymar and and big name players are going to be re-released into team of the season um you know ultimate today most likely but they're just so hard to pack and it ends up being a hey, everybody goes and, and opens packs and tries to get these guys because it's hey, another chance or the best time to open packs during a team of the season is often viewed uh, as today with these cards getting re-released but again it's still so difficult to pack them and i just remember last year during ultimate tots it was a really really boring week of content now the end of the era stuff should help with that the award winners hopefully help out with that as well but there's just a lot to be seen today about this game um and about this promo that would really be crazy crazy exciting or crazy new so i'm i've got hope for today to be a really insane promo friday i just have a feeling that it actually might let us down based off the SBC leaks that we have. And I have no idea if we're going to get an objective player today because team of the season cards, I guess maybe they could put somebody else out in objectives or maybe an award winner would be dropped via objectives. But evidently, those cards are only going to be in packs. Again, guys, a lot of unknowns for today, which is going to make it a very, very interesting market day as well. And that's what I want to talk about next because today could have huge market implications like we've talked about. Anytime cards get re-released back into packs, we looked at the graphs earlier this week, they get destroyed, right? Remember, Teo Hernandez' team of the season last year was like 1 million coins. He got re-released back into Ultimate Tots. He went all the way down to about 500k in that week he was re-released. Guys, we've seen a lot of panic selling. We've seen a lot of card prices drop, like this Griezmann, who was like 3.2 million coins last week. He is now down to 2.2 million coins. I think there is going to be some panic selling continuing into today and Friday as there's an unknown situation here with what cards are going to be in packs. And once we figure out what's going to be in packs today, that's going to kind of decide how the market moves. If we start to get leaks, if we start to get information before the content drop today, or if we have to wait until content, if this Griezmann gets re-released back into packs, this goes for anything today. Anything that gets re-released is going to drop off a lot in value. Yes, this has dropped off a million coins. He's probably going to drop off even more though. There will be some rebounds though. I'm honestly going to say this today. I don't think everything on the entire market is going to drop unless this promo is like absolutely insane and way better somehow than we all are expecting it to be i do believe some cards will go down especially if they're re-released but some of them could rebound back up as well and i would specifically look at cards that are very hyped that are very meta that maybe don't get re-released right you're taking a look at some team of the season cards from maybe league one like let's say jonathan david does not get re-released back into packs today or a guy like Verratti or marquinhos who are still very popular players nuno men still holding a price of three hundred and twenty thousand coins let's say he's not re-released today he might go down a little bit but then i also think he could be coming right back up in price as people go and they play the weekend league right with the ultimate tots cards whatever that looks like today in rewards unless those rewards look really really bad there's still going to be a lot of demand for weekend league because we still are under the same weekend league schedule with the start time being two hours after content so with that expectation set I, as always, expect to see the highest prices on the market around one, the first to the third hour after Weekend League actually starts. Right around there is when we have usually like the bubble, if you will. When a lot of player prices go up because people are buying cards to go play for champions to go and get those rewards. So that's kind of what I'm thinking today for a market perspective. I would say this too, guys, It's we're getting towards the end of the year, right? And a lot of prices have been very inflated and probably too expensive um, in the last couple of weeks during team of the season. We've got a Shapeshifters promo upcoming, which we've already seen cards from objectives. The cards look absolutely insane. Um, and they're going to continue to look insane as they get released the next couple of weeks. I will be very careful holding on to cards in this week, this next upcoming week. This weekend, the market might do really well. If the content today is underwhelming, if we get a bad end of an era or just not a super hyped one, and the content in packs with the award winners and the TOTS cards is just not that good, then I do believe you could see some prices going back up on the market, and you might see some really big rises today. Like, that's that's actually very possible on today's game. But at the same time, I would expect basically everything on the market to be 
cheaper next week on Friday and into Saturday, into Sunday, next weekend, specifically with Shapeshifters coming out. Shapeshifters is always a promo that impacts the market a lot, and we'll talk about that a lot in this upcoming week, of course, as we get more information about it. But I'm keeping my coins pretty liquid today. I do expect today to be a really good day to trade and make coins, but also it's just a day to maybe sit back and say, hey, if I'm looking to buy somebody for my team, wait for content, look and see what is released. If a card gets re-released in the packs that you want to buy, watch the price drop down a bunch, buy it, but then don't hold on to it too long because it's going to get packed, of course, during the next week. So there's just so many unknowns today. It's kind of different, right? It's different that we have so many question marks uh, for today on this game. Now, one thing that is not in question is that fodder prices are going up. And based off of the SBCs that we get today, we could get flash SBCs today. We talked about the end of an era um, SBC kind of daily stuff happening today, starting today. That's for sure going to happen. Will we get any other sort of content though is the big question. How is that going to impact fodder, right? You've got TOTS cards that are 28, 29,000 coins. They just keep going up in value. And will we get a flash SBC, right? The last few weeks we've had a flash SBC and I would have to imagine that EA is not going to pass up on the opportunity today to give us some sort of, whether it's an 86 double, we already have that, so probably not that, but uh, a player pick, some other sort of SBC they could drop today as a flash SBC, which has been kind of a staple of Friday content during team this season anyway, and that could make fodder go up a lot um, in the you know couple hours around the content drop time frame. Why would EA pass up on an opportunity with these guys in packs uh, to not release a pack, right? I feel like they're going to do that. But keep an eye out for fodder today because it should drop if we don't get a flash SBC. The lower tier is going to get packed. There's going to be a lot of lightning rounds and saved up packs open today. Some people have been saving up packs for ultimate team of the season for weeks because they know that this is one of the bigger weeks of team of the season when there's more cards in packs big name players. If you're going to hit something big, now is the time to open. So a lot of people save packs for this week, which I do think could drop some fodder prices. But once again, what do we have upcoming? Daily SBCs and icon player pick SBC that's probably going to come back, whether on Saturday or on Sunday, some other sort of icon pack. We have so many player SBCs, like we said, coming. Fodder is such a really, really good investment still in this game. I just want to see prices drop down before wanting to go back in on some of that fodder. And if you bought 88s at like 50 15k, 16k, they're up at 19,000 coins because of the icon pick dropping again yesterday. Just hold on to these, man. Really, just continue to hold on to these cards. You saw the spike that we had yesterday. It's nice to see the price rise, but we're honestly not done yet. Same thing with the team of the season cards uh, and all the fodder right now on this game. The only thing I would be a little bit careful about would be the 83s to the 84s and the 85s. And the only reason that the 83s, 84s, and 85s are this expensive right now on this game is because we got that 86 double. We talked about this in last night's video as well. You've got that 86 double pack right now that it requires an 84 squad. So all of your low tier fodder is like absolutely flying. So if fodder goes low, could be a good buy opportunity, but it's going to be a crazy day of content today. I've got some packs saved up. I'm thinking about building up some player picks, but I think the player pick luck today is just, it's not going to be good, guys, I don't think, because these were bad even for Serie Tots last week. What's going to make them good today for Tots Award winners and Ultimate Team of the Season? So I hope there's some surprises today. I hope something about this Award winners, Tots, Ultimate, whatever promo that we're getting today, uh, I hope there's some surprises, guys. Hope there's something cool about it because, yes, it does look like it's going to be a nice promo because it looks similar to Ultimate Team this season, but there's got to be something in here that makes it a bit different today in this game to make it really, really exciting. So that's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a thumbs up on a comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. If you're new around here, also check out the Twitch streams. Link down below in the description. We'll be watching the market, trying to make some coins, opening packs, and having a blast today with this brand new promo coming out. So again, see you guys in the Twitch stream today. It's been Nathan for the Count and catch you guys later. Peace.